hi guys how you all doing um you know hope you're all staying safe safe and well and uh yeah today will be the first lesson that i'll be teaching i thought i'd do the first two sections but you know i have very little storage state space at the moment so i'll be i'll only be able to do like a five six minute video on the first section which is 1.1 on atoms now the the couple of things before i start is um yeah a couple of things before i start um who am I? Who am I? Well, I'm a Year Twelve student going into Year Thirteen. My name is Jalal Arora. I do A levels in Maths, Physics, and Chemistry, and um, and uh, yeah, I'll be teaching you GCSE Chemistry as well now, uh, as you guys probably know now from if you saw the introduction video. If not, check that out. I just made that yesterday. But yeah, I'll be going over one point one atoms. So today's a very very basic kind of lesson five six minute video probably maybe a bit longer but i don't have much you know i can't do the video for too long because otherwise you know it then says you you know storage space you know you know i'm not going to go into that but basically i can't make two sections i was wanting to make two sections but i can't i'm going to make one section today one tomorrow one on monday uh, sorry one today one tomorrow one on sunday you know carry on you know you get what i mean but uh basically that's how it's going to go and i'm using this book uh, which is the gcse um, revision guide not the student book which is the bigger book and i like this book more than that one uh, because this one's much more concise it's about 120 pages compared to that which is 280 but the weird thing is they both have the same amount of content so you're not going to be disadvantaged if i taught you from this book but you know it's good to verify from that book as well but sometimes they give details which are not even required you know not trying to criticize the book, just saying that, you know, sometimes they give too much extra information that, you know, can, can really become overwhel overwhelming when you really don't need need all that information. You're not going to be tested on it. Now, I think I'll start with 1.1 atoms. So today's a basic introduction. Now, there are about 100 different elements from which all substances are made of um, or made from. And the periodic table is a list of all these elements. So there are about, you know, 100 different elements. There are, and there, actually, there are 118 to be exact. Um, but they said about 100 and basically these all all these elements are listed on the periodic table and basically the periodic table is like the most like one of the most important things very fundamental to kind of any kind of chemistry that you do you know you're always going to be relying on the periodic table you know most of the time if not all of the time but uh, yes it's very important to understand now each element is made of one type of atom now that's important because oxygen is made of only oxygen atoms the element aluminium is made of only aluminium atoms sodium only made of sodium atoms so that's very important as well and uh, they're made of one type of atom or elements and then the elements in the periodic table are arranged in columns called groups now i used to say vertical columns that used to help me a lot and these uh, elements in the same groups have the usually have the similar prop uh, chemical property yeah similar yeah so basically elements that are in the same group have similar properties and the vertical columns of the groups i always used to do this action to remember the vertical columns of the groups when you go up to down vertical columns of the groups left to right left to right horizontal rows are the periods that just used to help me you know remember that well the vertical columns of the groups horizontal rows are the periods you know that action some of these actions are really really important to try and just memorize you know to really help you but now we're looking at kind of you know that was basic and then they ask us this question what type of substances are shown in the periodic table that's quite easy you only find elements in periodic table oxygen nitrogen aluminium oxygen you know i've said oxygen again oxygen nitrogen aluminium what have you carbon hydrogen helium you know all these different elements that are on the periodic table one thing i forgot to mention one other point was that atoms are represented by chemical symbols for example na is an atom um for na is the symbol for an atom of sodium o is the symbol for an atom of oxygen that's very important and i'd say you know i'd recommend learning the first 20 elements because you're given the periodic table in the exam but i think it just makes things faster in the exams you always want to save time so it's really helpful to learn i think the first you know the the symbols of the first 20 elements and they're not that hard to learn you know h e for helium n for nitrogen al for aluminium you know basically the first 20 i don't think aluminium comes in the first 20 does it i'm not sure yeah it does it does but basically you know, I'd say first, learn the first 20 elements, they're chemical symbols, and it would really, really help, um, even though you're given the periodic table in the exam. Now we're going on to atoms have a tiny nucleus, which um, is very important to say it's positively charged. It's positively charged nucleus surrounded by electrons. So electrons revolve around the nucleus. 
um, in shells, by the way. We're going to learn about shells later in the next few videos. But when elements react, their atoms join with atoms of other elements and compounds are formed in this way. So compounds are formed from the joining or the, you know, combining of two or more different elements, you know. If two or more of the same element combine, that's not a compound. That's what we would call a molecule. So that's very different. And um, yeah. Uh, now, what type of substance is sodium chloride? So obviously, sodium chloride, NaCl, which is commonly known as table salt, is a compound. That's quite easy. And so we've seen that, you know, nucleus is positively charged. So, the, you know, the atoms have a tiny positive nucleus um, with electrons surrounding them. And we've seen compounds, you know, they're formed from different two or more elements different elements combining together i think this really this action as well really helps you to understand what compounds are very important to understand what a compound is what an element is what an atom is very important to understand these concepts before very early on because they're recapped at gcse as well i mean sorry at a level as well but you know it's very important to understand these now the key words are element periodic table uh very big keyword periodic table actually atom group nucleus electron compound so yeah we're nearly done with this section guys but uh, the key just to finish off the key points all substances are made of atoms we know that and we learned that today well we probably knew that but good revision the periodic table lists all the elements with eight main groups each containing <laughs> elements with similar chemical properties oh, gotta hurry up a bit and then um yep and then elements are made of only one type of atom Compounds contain more than one element. An atom has a tiny nucleus at the center surrounded by electrons. So I think that's all for today, guys. That's my teaching um, for 1.1. You can check out the student book um, to just verify your, you know, your this, you know, what you've learned today. And I think I'll see you in the next video. Till then, uh, please remember to share, like, and subscribe, and uh, turn your notifications on, you know, to, so you know when I upload a new video, which is probably going to be every day if I can. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope this was useful as well. Thank you, guys.